Good morning everyone, or good evening, good afternoon, depends on wherever you are. So today is the weekend for the Memorial Day here in the U.S. I have a tutorial, it's a short one, I promise you. We will do a dishcloth and it will look like this. Okay. So, this is about 8 inches in width and uh, like 7.5 inches in height. So, we will be doing this today. By the way, welcome to a Travel Crafter channel. My name is Renette. Thank you for being here. So, today I will be using this Premier Jazz Cotton. It's a number 4 medium weight. And each uh, skein is 104 yards or 96 meters. So it's made of 85% cotton and 15% polyester. So this particular yarn is, uh, the color is uh, plum, P-L-U-M. And the number goes uh, by 1023-31. So, I find this very nice to work on this uh, kind of project. The yarn is just uh, because of its cottony and uh, polyester quality. It's really, it's soft and it, it is easy to work with. So, you will need this. Uh, this one skein is um, more to do one uh, dishcloth or washcloth and then you would need a tapestry needle you would need your pair of scissors and i will be using a crochet hook number 5.00 millimeter although uh, this yarn in particular is recommending that you use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or us uh, 9 is it 9 Mine is USH8, but let's get started. So to begin with, so we will do a slip knot. Slip knot, if you are not familiar with it. This is how you have to do it. And this um, particular project calls for a multiple of four. So I will be doing uh, 32, 32 uh, stitches. That's eight times four equals 32. And then you add two more stitches. So I will do 30, 34 stitches in all. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I will be back once I'm finished doing the 34 stitches. Okay, so welcome back. I did 32 stitches so remember it works in multiples of four and I'm gonna add two more to make it 34 and then what we are going to do we will start working on the second chain from the hook so that's your hook one and two we will put a single crochet second chain from the hook and then you will chain two okay and then right on the same spot we do four double crochet okay so that's one yarn over double crochet pull through two and pull through two so that's two all on that same stitch and one more so yarn over 
back to that same stitch we're all putting four double crochets into the same spot so one two three that's four okay so i have four so now we skip three so one two three on the fourth space on the fourth stitch you do a single crochet so the two loops on your hook from the bottom two loops that you have you do a single crochet okay and then you chain two one two yarn over and into the same spot we do another four double crochets so this is our pattern repeat okay so that's two yarn over back into the same stitch that's three double crochets and i need four more I mean one more to make it four double crochets okay so four double crochets with the one single crochet plus two chains all in one into one stitch so now skip you need to skip three one two three and into the fourth uh, stitch you work on your single crochet chain two double crochet four okay so double crochet is worked by yarning um yarning over pull through two loops and you will have two remaining stitches on your hook and pull through so that's my second double crochet i need two more so this is the third one and this is the fourth one okay so you will guess it right we will be uh, skipping three stitches and work on the fourth stitch okay so single crochet that's okay let's skip for three one Two, three and on the fourth you work with the two loops on your hook here yarn over do a single crochet and chain two and then yarn over we will do three four double crochets that's one two three and one more and four I'll do one more with you okay so skip three one two three and on the fourth chain we do a single crochet and as usual we take uh, we put the two loops there single crochet chain two and then yarn over you're ready to do four double crochets one two So I'll work some more here, but this is really uh, what, how the pattern is like, and this is very repetitive. It's just a one row repeat. It's a very simple pattern. I will be back. Okay, so I am almost to the end of my first row. 
Okay, so I have these uh, seven um, scallops, I would say. Okay, so I am working on the last set. I have one double crochet on my uh, chain. I need to do three more. That's two, three, and, and this is number four. And the last four chains on your row, you know that you are on the right track if you are left with four more chains on your row. Okay, so what we do on the last one is, okay, I still have one, two, three, four. So on the fourth chain or the last chain, you do a single crochet. So remember, two loops on your hook. And single crochet, pull through, and okay, so that's how it looks like. And now, before you turn, I will chain three one, two, and three. So all that goes on your last chain is a single crochet and before you turn your work you chain the three and we turn our work so on that same space there or on that same chain we do two double crochets so yarn over pull through you have two loops on your hook yarn over that's the first double crochet yarn over again onto the same chain pull through two and pull through two so this is what we have on our border or on the corner so the three chains is your first double crochet so we have four i mean three double crochets right there and then we do a single crochet where we did the uh, single crochet and chain two this is where we will put our single crochet again and we start doing the border we start doing the, the scallops again so one chain two yarn over and we do the three double crochets again Okay, so that's our pattern, single crochet, chain two, plus three double crochets, all worked into that space, okay? So you cross over, remember this is the th four double crochets that we did, plus the chain one and two, uh, sing chain two, I mean single crochet and the chain two sorry so put your hook there do another single crochet and that you just repeat the pattern chain two yarn over and we do four double crochets skip all this double crochet from the previous row and then into that space into that space where we did the single crochet and chain two you insert your hook onto that space and you have two loops on your hook yarn over and chain for our chain uh, for our um, single crochet and then chain two one and two yarn over and into the same space you do four double crochets so again four double crochets is worked by yarning over 
insert your hook into the space pull through pull through two I have one more to do and that is really how our uh, work will look like or will work all throughout it's just a one row repeat and you just keep doing it back and forth four double crochets into that space from the previous round and it just gets easier and easier as you get used to uh, doing the four double crochets I'm tangled up on my yarn here okay so again skip all these double crochets insert your hook into that space do one single crochet chain one yarn over and do four double crochets Okay, so I'll work this next three ones off camera and I will show you how to end the row. Okay, so I am on my second row and this is what is left on my on my hook. So these are the four double crochets from the previous round and then the single crochet that we did. So how it works on ending your row is you insert your hook on this space okay again you have the four double crochets from the previous round and this is where we did our single crochet plus the three plus the two uh, chains so insert your hook onto that space that's the last one and as usual as how we did the previous end and the row you have to do a single crochet and that's how we end our our row and then do before you turn you do three chains okay so single crochet and three chains and turn your work and then at the start of every row we do two more double crochets right on the spot here right on the chain right here okay so that's the three chains yarn over and onto that same space onto that same chain we do two more double crochets okay so that is how we start every every row okay so it's pretty much repetitive what you did on one side you will do on the next okay so again skip all these double crochets work on the space there do a single crochet chain two four double crochets so I need one more okay, let me repeat that my fourth double crochet sure you get all the strands together and then again skip all these double crochets that we did and into that space is where we will work do your single crochet chain two four double crochets So that is how it's worked on it's very repetitive so and it works pretty much really fast so I chose this pattern just because uh, I think it's really appropriate for uh, projects like 
um, like the dishcloth or the washcloth and it's very condensed like uh, for if you use this for the dishcloth it will really absorb uh, water and will uh, keep your dishes um, dry and just so to remember at the end of this row you just insert your hook right here do a single crochet and before turning your work you would do three chains and then at the start of each row you do uh, you add two more double crochets okay so i'll show i'll be back i'll show you how my project turns out to be and i'll see you later so i am back i am almost done with my um washcloth or a dishcloth right uh, so i did this is how wide or how um the height for this is so i did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like 12 rows so i'm on my 12th row right now so i am just finishing up this is the last um space here that i am working on i already did the single crochet plus two chains so now i am ready to do uh four double crochets so yarn over pull through and pull through yarn over pull through two so that's my second double crochet and the third double crochet and the last double crochet for this uh, row and then on to my last um last space here that i will just do a single crochet and chain one and then i am going to work on the sides now i will just pick up the stitches and do a single crochet right around for my border so single crochet here single crochet in the bottom and then again on the side i will do a single crochet and then on each of these uh, top um, stitches i will as well do a single crochet so um, that is how i'm going to end my dishcloth or washcloth um, i find that just doing a single crochet is enough to make it just simple just so that my the body for the washcloth will be emphasized so i would say that the, this body is kind of um so elegant so it needs to be emphasized more so uh my opinion is just doing a single crochet on the edges or as my border will give more emphasis to the body of our washcloth so again if um if i may measure the width for this without the single crochets on the border is about um about eight inches and then the height is about like with the with the single crochets i mean without the single crochets it's like seven so that is the measurement for my washcloth or dishcloth okay so i will not show you anymore how i am going to do it it's a very simple um it's a very simple stitch i'm pretty sure all of you would be able to do it and it's up to you to modify your style the reason why crochet and knitting projects are so great because each of us can modify according to our taste you know so um bring out your creative minds make it work and if you have the chance you can show me how it looks like but let me show you my first uh my first uh, washcloth using this uh, stitch so uh, this one i have added the single crochets on the edges for my border so this is the top most tell me what this reminds you of i think i made a project before using uh not sure what it's called something drunken drunken stitch i think 
I can uh, look it up again and see it looks really similar to that stitch so that is how our projects will come out you can block it and it will be more uh, it will be longer and it will be more stretchier so in a in a nutshell i really love using this premier chest cotton um, the consistency is like really smooth and it glides in a, in your um in your crochet hook so give me a thumbs up if you like the tutorial right under the comment section whatever you um may want to comment and i really hope that you had enjoyed and that you learned something out of this tutorial so i will see you guys thank you so much for dropping by thank you for your time and if you are not subscribed yet please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe thank you so much again for your time and bye